This quarter, we've explored the meaning behind art and Christian spirituality. Together, we've opened our minds and hearts. By placing on our theological lenses, we've begun to surface aspects of religion some of us have departed from and others just adventuring towards. Over the past few months, I've become friends with a woman whom I greatly look up to. Her name is Kamini Fonseca. My project is a portrait of her, filled with depth and meaning that we've covered throughout the quarter. I'd like to share her story with you all as we reflect on the connections between the arts and the quest for a just society. To escape havoc at home as a child, Kamini found herself fleeing to nature. She described the feeling of the earth as an overwhelming sense of clarity and serenity. She found herself looking for the more, but without understanding of its purpose or origin. Coleman, page 77, states, The innateness of the longing for relation is apparent even at the earliest and dimmest, stage at times when there's obviously no desire for nourishment. Soft projections of the hands reach, aimlessly to all appearances, into the empty here towards indefinite. For precisely these glances, we eventually, after many trials, come to rest upon a red wallpaper aberesque, and not leave it until the soul of that has opened up to them. She searched the globe her whole life, seeking the answers to her greatest question. As a mixed Hungarian and black woman, there seemed to be no just society. Her actions meant nothing, nor did anyone listen or seem to care. Our participation in the act of salvation is what we refer to as liberation. It consists of our work to transform the world. Liberation is both cause and effect of the struggle to have a love relationship with others, including God. Solidarity 90 That feeling of the more she felt when alone with Mother Earth helped her understand that there was more to the universe than just race and sex. There is something basic among us, something evolutionary and revolutionary, something more basic than femaleness or maleness, whiteness or blackness, gayness or straightness, something more basic than Christianity or any religion. Hayward 293 For over 50 years, the mountains called for comedy, and it became her thin place. We are living in a world that is absolutely transparent, and God is shining through it all the time. This is not just a fable or a nice story. It is true. If we abandon ourselves to God and forget ourselves, we see it sometimes, and we see it maybe frequently. God shows himself everywhere, in everything, in people and in things, and in nature and in events. It becomes very obvious that God is everywhere, and in everything, and we cannot be without him. It's impossible. The only thing is that we don't see it. Borg, e-text, page 8. With each howl of the wind against the mountainside, she grew wiser. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Bible, Genesis 3, 8. In life, we can experience multiple thin places, some of which encompass people. Six years ago, Kamini felt the loss of love, hope, and faith. Her husband had died unexpectedly. Generosity, kindness, the agape aspect of love, prudence, unselfishness, and other ethical notions that presuppose life in an objective environment could not even be formed. Consequently, such a world, however well it might promote pleasure, would be very ill-adapted for the development of the moral qualities of human personality. Hick, 83. At this period of her life, Kamini had nothing to lose. Lost in life, she cared not for the earth, the things that she felt were important, nor loved anything or any person. Matthew 2238-39 reads, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Shortly after her husband's death, Kamini began to experience seizures, aneurysms, and had to undergo more than five different brain surgeries. She began to lose sight of herself. 
It is during our most vulnerable and darkest times we begin to realize within ourselves who we are and what our path may be. The darkness will eventually become a mesmerizing sunset. Citing Gablik 164, and by giving one a sense of the possibility of what there is outside of one's control, outside of one's intentions and in the darkness, it offers the possibility of grace. I believe grace is possible, and I believe that the writing and art can inspire grace. It took Kamini three years of recovery to climb another mountain or feel love again. She found inspiration in her story. From birth to present, her life has been filled with adventures. Though not religious, she believes in the more and her intertwining place in the universe. The Bible does not deny the reality of God. It does not deny that the Bible is inspired by God, but it understands inspiration differently. In recent centuries, some Christians have understood it to mean plenary inspiration, that everywhere is inspired by God and thus has the truth and authority of God standing behind it. Borg e-text, page 5. In 2015, Kamini began to document her adventures for the public. Known as Yodography, the social journal looks through the lens so we can widen horizons, expose contrasts, and develop positives from a negative both in films and life while documenting journeys for social wellness. If we trained our perceptions in the right way, according to Rozak, we would be able to hear the voice of the earth then maybe we would listen to and begin to hear her message of distress. Gablik, 336. No matter the path you walk or the adventures that lay before you, we all play a role in the universe. The speck we call home relies on all our actions as to the generations that lie before us. As we venture through life together, Never stop looking for the answers to your greatest questions.